different reasons for doing this. Didn't know what I was doing in 2015. 2016, I got sick 20 miles in, and my buddies, Brian O, Brian J, and Ollie, got me through it. I mean, I was puking. I think Clint asked me the other day, how many times did I puke? And I was probably over 40, constantly puking. And then, 19 or 17 made it to Helen man kind of lost the drive came back in 2019 made it all the way to Cooper's Creek store but that Duncan Ridge just totally demoralized me that trail never ends so yesterday I put on some tunes and knocked that son of a bitch out and it never got to me had a good time on it. It's still never ending, but I knocked it out. And on top of all this, I threw in a fundraiser for Mission 22. It's an organization that, his main goal is to stop veteran suicide. It's a lofty goal. A lot of my fellow veterans have struggles with PTS, TBI, some other lesser known mental health issues but I just wanted to do more so I decided to film my adventure try to raise funds and get this get this ride done don't stop don't stop but all right let's go let's get to stanley Chick-fil-A, about to head out to the start, about to head out to the South Carolina border. <sighs> Didn't get much sleep last night, but we're gonna get this thing done. Let's get it started. I'll probably see y'all maybe next time in Dillard. So, uh, hydrate, drink plenty of water, electric lights. Keep an eye out for your fellow man, fellow lady. How you feeling? Yeah, that's the thing. If I can make it into Helen, it's always all up in your picture with Grant.
had a battery die on my camera not a mile into the course so let's see how that goes had problems with my phone last night for some reason the phone died didn't charge at the hotel so I had to charge that up uh, yeah I think I'm in last place awesome oatmeal cream pie Highly recommended by Clint Fowler. This ride is actually comforting because I recognize so many things. That turn back there is where uh, Ollie wiped out and cracked his GoPro lens. So yeah, it's fun. Not, you know, it's just like being back at home. I know at least this part of the course very well, so. Whew. This is that road coming into Darnell Creek. Holy smokes. I call this place the cul-de-sac. It's got closed roads, hiking trails, bikers taking poos. It's got the real trail, which I'm not supposed to tell you, it's the real trail that way. This right here, listen. favorite spot in Georgia. We're far enough away from the river and creek that you can't hear it. Far enough away from everything. Just this. This right here is what it's all about. Well, I've been practicing what I preach. I've been preaching for like six months now that I was going to wear Crocs on Darnell Creek. And here you go. Crocs, baby. I remember Darnell Creek being having more creek crossings maybe it's been a while i know but dang i just remember having more creek crossings all right let's rock and roll they had an aid station set up which I, apparently they haven't had the last couple years but it was well very welcome you'll get a lot of those you know to do like, do stations like that the reason why I do it kind of there is to check everybody's tracker and you're you're early enough in the course to where you know you're you can help everybody. Everybody gets it. So it's kind of neutral support. Well I made it to Dillard. I know I'm going slow. I've been filming a little bit, taking my time, turtle time. Remember, we're on turtle time out here in Georgia, Trans North Georgia. I feel good though, in good spirits. Uh, Darnell Creek was amazing. Again, really crazy single track, but amazing. And about to hit some, some hardball for probably 10 miles. So, wish me luck. I'll. Next time I think I got good signal, I'll make another, I'll send y'all some more info, information. But uh, thanks for uh, supporting me. And remember, if you're inspired by my efforts, please uh, donate to Mission 22. I'll put the link down in the comments and let's get this thing done. We appreciate y'all for uh, keeping track.
We made it to Patterson Gap. Now it's got one more. Well, not one more, but another gap to climb. Let's do it. The guy in front of me. I don't know his name. It's the first time. His first time doing it. He goes, I didn't realize there'd be so much hike a bike. <laughs> I was like. Oh boy, you got a lot more coming. Is this your first year? <laughs> yep, it's his first year. He's a TNJ virgin. Boy. This first hundred will kick your butt. Wow. Well, I guess that that last summit I did was false. Because I guess now I'm at Patterson Gap. Maybe, I don't know. I looked at my little chart, it says um, there's nothing here between, so it's gotta be Patterson Gap top. I'm going about to go down. Hopefully it's not another false peak. <sighs> and just wow. Look at that. Freaking beautiful. What it's gonna take? Stop and appreciate what's pretty. Well, made it to the Appalachian Trail where it crosses Blue Ridge Gap. Man, this is going slow. I knew it would. But I'm feeling fine. Just going slow. This, this uh, movie will be called Going Slow on the TNGA Turtle Time. I mean, Clinton, they were probably at Mulberry by now. Probably. Oh well. Not wasting time. See y'all later. Well, I made it to around the bend, hiker hostels. Yeah, no burgers left. So, got a Dr. Pepper and a monster. That's one of the things I was kind of wanting to get at that gas station so maybe I'll be able to stay awake tonight. Alright. Keep on trucking. About to hit Dick's Creek. Definitely later than I wanted to. I'm going to run out of light. So got to be extra careful. Cautious. And get through there. Then on to Moccasin Creek. State Park, stop my bottles off, and uh, head to uh, Addis Gap. I'm well, looking forward to that climb in the dark. Definitely gonna have to make some noises and shit. Right. It's gonna be a late night. Let's go. Yeah, Dick's Creek at night never ends. I'm I'm actually amazed that it ended because it seemed like it was just never going to end. I mean, like I'm like driving along and riding along and water crossing after water crossing after water crossing after water crossing, and then you get at the end you got this big lake, which with your lights it's like a, just a gigantic black pit you're riding into, but. Okay, on to Moxon Creek. Let's see. Yeah, let's go. Eh, wasting time. Yep. 
if any of y'all are wondering what Addis Gap looks like at night, here you go. That's what Addis Gap looks like at night. I mean, the trail's kind of got it, the road's got kind of like a gray tint to it when it's in the lights. But yeah, that, that's Addis Gap at night. Here you go again. There you go, giving y'all the real experience. All right, I made it to Moccasin Creek State Park. Dix Creek was insane at night. Everything looked like a bear. I was singing. Uh, I can't sing. I don't know any words to any songs, apparently. So I was just making it up as I go. There's a new trail, new uh, new hit song. This trail will never end. That's what the that's my hit song. I don't know, I, I, I made the words up, but I don't remember them anymore, so. But I'm gonna head up, keep pushing along. I ate my Chick-fil-A sandwich I bought this morning. I'm gonna push towards Addis Gap right now. Keep going, keep going until I can't go no more. But uh, thanks for watching. If you wanna, uh, if you're inspired by my efforts and would like to donate to Mission 22, the link will be in the comments if I remember to put them there. They're in the comments for the other ones. Plenty of times on Facebook, there's plenty of links to that thing, but. I'll try to remember to put them in the comments whenever I can post this. Peace. Heading back to what used to be home Passing by those little towns I know so well Stopping for gas and then I'm behind the wheel Driving this like a spiritual cleanse Where every mile is a new beginning And every friend holds a new end Eyes on the road, don't lose control I'm speeding fast to chase my soul I'm driving to get away Running through emotions high and low So, um, 
a little connector trail between Chimney Mountain Jeep Trail and Hickory Nut. Wow, what a day yesterday! Oh, smokes. We're just so slow going and forever to get up at us and forever to get up tray walking I got some knee pain my left knee it's only when I pedal so you know, if I can just avoid pedaling it should be alright just let me try to Get a cup of ice, put it in a bag, ice it for a little bit, maybe. Yeah, that was a long, long haul last night. I didn't, I didn't get to the top of tray till probably right at seven. I laid my head down, woke up at seven forty. Time to go. <laughs> I think I'm going to try to maybe take a nap at Unicorn again and see if I can get another hour, maybe. Oh, tough sledding in these mountains. This, this trail is stupid. I think when the Jeeps are on, at least the Jeeps kind of pack things in a little bit. Now it's just an open freaking floodplain. No, uh, no help for the rocks. Is it just me? Or did there might have been a few spots that didn't have rocks on, on that Jeep trail? But maybe you need to spread them out a little bit more because there's a few places where it was kind of smooth. And I know we can't have that shit. Right. Oh, let me tell you the story about that dude. I don't know if I was hallucinating or if there was actually a dude there. But I'm, I'm walking, I go biking up trail at 5 a.m. and see a light up ahead. And I think it's a star because the stars are pretty bright up there. And all of a sudden, there's this like emo looking dude. And he's using the. the flashlight on his phone for light when he gets close to me he turns it off and when we pass each other he turns it back on the hallucinations turn lights off I thought I saw a gate too I swear I saw a gate and there's no gate that's all I got for y'all this is going around let's get this damn trail Also, another thing, back tires sound like bears. They always do, especially when you're by yourself. Have a good day. My new apartment for the next 20 minutes. You like it? It's very nice. Custom sink, custom toilet, custom paint. Everything is custom. I made it down Hickory Nut, up Trey, up Addis Gap, all that bull crap. <laughs> tough, tough night, really just crazy tough. But uh, made it up there, tried to get some sleep, slept about out 45 minutes on top of Trey. It's kind of cold up there. I'm going to, I got cleaned up, I'm at Unicoi, stayed in the, got cleaned up in the restroom, and I'm gonna try to get up Hogpin, go to Helen and get some. Stack up on some more food and then try to get up hog pen before it gets too damn hot. But uh, still in good spirits. Gonna uh, just push through. I got a little bit of knee pain, so I'm gonna see how that goes. Hurts when I pedal, so if I can uh, not pedal, I'll be all right. But uh, thanks for watching. Remember to donate to Mission 22. Appreciate y'all and have a great uh, day. I'm on my way to hog pen. That's probably one of the worst parts of the day. It'll be noon before I get there 
Oh well. Boy, that hickory nut, man. That trail. That trail's terrible. I remember a time where it was fun. But now it's just. Even with the trees cut down, it's probably the worst I've seen it. But uh, on the hog pen, still have knee pain. Let's see how it goes. The name of hog pen, ride hike a bike. Ride hike a bike. Ride hike a bike. I know it's going to be a long sign, but I think that's what it is. Built this road. It's like straight the freak up. Hey, look. Look, it's straight up. Have you ever heard of switchbacks? No. Let's just go. Go for it. It's hot. I try to take a nap and just green looking bee kept flying around me. Green bees. What the hell? It's hot. Should have took that offer from that Jeep guy for a ride. Just tell him to go like three miles an hour. Nobody would notice. Oh shit, it's hot. One step at a time. I want you to introduce y'all to the Trans North Georgia Hike a Bike Adventure. Yes. Yeah. Well, made it to the uh, top of Hog Pen. You can see my beautiful view. Possibly, maybe. Or you can just look at me. But uh, yeah, Hog Pen was terrible. Hot, steep, just ridiculous. But uh, I'm gonna look at this view for a few more minutes and then I'm gonna go down hog pen, cut across over like Hatchet, I say Hatchet Creek, Helton Creek Falls area, and then off the wolf pen. So, like I said, if you're uh, inspired by my efforts and feel so obliged to donate to Mission 22 to help fight veteran suicide, PTS, and TBI. I would appreciate it. I know they would too. Thanks for watching. Thanks for keeping up with me. I do, I do read y'all's posts. So I'll see y'all next time. Peace. Before I get into any more dirt, I want to look at my tires. Look at all the. I don't know if you can see it. All the scuff marks is one on the rim. All these scuff marks. kept seeing my tires looked wet and it was actually stands leaking out of all the there's, there's holes all in them stands seems to be holding holding the air but there was there's there's holes all in these tires from uh the jeep trail and uh hickory nut hickory nut's gonna get renamed to tire ripper offer i like that sign yeah all right, here we go. Help Hatchet Creek, whatever. Well, I made it. I gotta be quiet. Somebody's sleeping. I made it to Cooper's Creek store. Just left of my lasagna. I'm gonna get some sleep because I've only had about 45 minutes since yesterday morning at 3 a.m. But uh, this place is awesome. Visit Cooper's Creek store when you get a chance. It's in such as, or close to such as, whatever. Cooper's Creek. Uh, Y'all have a good night. I'm gonna go to sleep. Well, I'm heading out. Probably spent too much time at the amazing Cooper Creek store. Thanks, Diane and her uh, staff is truly a, 
amazing. I'm gonna finish my Snickers bar because you can't carry a Snickers bar because it'll melt. But we're gonna, gonna actually a couple of dudes we're gonna roll out. Who knows how we'll stay together, but just amazing, amazing. Heading towards Stanley now. That's my next goal, I think. But got about seven hours of sleep last night, which I really desperately needed. So <sighs> time to go. But uh, thanks for watching. And remember, if uh, you're so inclined, I'm running a charity for Mission 22 to stop veteran suicide. And I try to put the, try to, I don't think I've been doing it. I try to put the link in the comments. Appreciate y'all. See y'all next time. No rest. No, no. I've been down so long that my mind can't get no rest. No, no. This ain't easy, darling. Cause the devil's on my trail. Good morning. How you doing? <laughs> I'm doing great. I've been running. Yeah, my butt hurts, my knee hurts. Spirits are good though, so let's keep on trucking. We're gonna get to Stanley. I think I forgot to mention, I was just so happy to be at Cooper's Creek. But man, that section from uh, the top of Wolfpin, until you get to uh, Cooper's Creek store. It takes forever. You know, I, I got to the top and I kind of, I pulled out my map. And I was like, I did the math, that's 20 miles. It's 20 miles to Cooper's no way. Yeah, it's 20 miles. I mean, you start thinking, oh, the beautiful views, really fun downhills, techy, rocky. Then you're like, get me off of this trail. Holy crap. But I just want to get that in. I don't even know if this is usable because it's shaking. So have you ever done the saddle saddle swap or scooch? I don't know what I gotta think of a name. Where you you ride on your left butt cheek, then you hop, then you ride on your your right butt cheek so that left butt cheek get some rest and you got to pay attention to numbness down there you know what I mean by down there because no numbness 
that's no good no be in all right that's another episode of random thoughts while bikepacking they don't tell you some people tell you NJ is actually an eating contest it's a statewide timed eating contest Peanut butter cream pie. Clint might disagree. I think it's better than the oatmeal cream pie. 440 calories, baby. Take that for your diet plan. The Stanley Gap. I think it's got beer splashed on my foot. My leg. I'm on my way. The Stanley Gap. I told myself, I'm not pedaling up this damn thing. I got too far to go. I'll blow myself up now. You ever notice how people have no idea how to pass a bike? A little rubber pad. For my uh, dropper post come off, I'm afraid I'm gonna jack my thumb up if I don't put some duct tape on it. So that's what I'm doing. And there you go, all new taped up dropper post lever. I mean that thing's five years old. Think how many times that button's been pressed. But I wouldn't, I wouldn't turn down a new driver post lever from p and I doubt it. Let's go up. You're getting ready to do a TNGA. You make sure your ankles and your calves are strong. You want to make sure that you uh, stretch your calves, you know, do some ankle, ankle rotations, get everything loose. Because this is what it is. You think Abe Kaufman's already finished? Set the record. He probably wrote all this. He probably didn't walk any of it. Some people are just not humans. Maybe we need to check see if he's actually a human. Well, I think this is the top of Green Mountain, maybe. But uh, I was thinking on the way up here. You know, the Mission Twenty Two. You know. It, the VA did a research program, whatever, you know, a couple of, a few years ago, and came out that 22 veterans, on average, give or take, take their own lives every day. And it was shocking, I think, to everybody. And that's from like World War II all the way to present day. I think I read something the other day that the Iraqi and Afghanistan veterans, it's about one a day. So you think about 365 people, so soldiers, veterans, marines, seamen, I said, <laughs> uh, I'm sorry I left that, and Air Force guys, what are Air Force guys called, airmen, yeah, they, uh, I'm, a, I'm an army guy, but they, uh, this, just what we ask these guys to go through, and these girls, these gals to go through, is just, insane and mission 22 tries to fight it tries to fight to end that veteran you know veteran suicide veterans with pts and uh tbi and I, I i got a good friend that's that that has been dealing with that and probably would deal with it for the rest of his life but it can be helped you can get through it just like i can get through this tnga so that's just my thoughts for right now beautiful up here pretty sure I'm going left but uh yeah let's keep pushing TNGA
Back in last November, this whole area was hit by a uh, forest fire. And the one thing I've noticed, I mean, it's, it's growing back, but the one thing I noticed, you know, just what Stanley Gap needed was just more sun exposure. I think, you know, it just really helped see everything. You know, shade is highly overrated. So how many of you uh, TNGAers are watching this? How many of y'all climb that? I've heard some of y'all say, oh, I, I pedaled everything on Stanley Gap. Really? That? Better man than me. Stanley Gap. Stanley Gap. Woo! All right, so I saw a lot of these people do this. So I'll go ahead and get over with the bike. The bike is a Moto McCain How Boost uh, Plus bike, 27 plus. We got Maxxis Recon Plus wheel tires, some Alex rims that I got from Brian. They're e-bike rims, 45 millimeters wide. I'm running a Box 2 Prime 9 drivetrain. It's been great so far. Love it. It's 
uh, just an excellent drivetrain for this kind of stuff. Uh, I have a bunch of camera mounts, Teleson, Teleson camera mounts, Teleson selfie stick. Uh, P and W Pacific Northwest, P and W Pacific Northwest. Uh, pedals, grips, dropper. Um, I got a Terry seat saddle. Running a uh, saw saw escape bivy. Here's the cockpit. Phoenix lighting. A cat eye thing that is a piece of junk. It's not made for mountain biking. Keeps changing the thing. Every bump you hit, it changes his mode. <laughs> That's the bike. Sir Stanley, you got me again. Now, possibly I think I'm at the top. I was wrong before. I remember now. But now, I'm going downhill. Well, you know, most likely not. There'll probably be another, another climb. You've never done this ride before. I mean, what the hell? All this footage is, is ride, walk, ride, walk, ride, walk, ride, walk. I think that's all this ride is. I needed this. I ran out of water like a mile ago. Cherry Law Community, the uh, church community center. <sighs> Definitely needed it. Definitely. Probably. Look at all the goodies. Look at that. Pickles. You know, there's never a jar of pickles around when you have a cramp. There's always a jar of pickles around when you don't have a cramp. Really, there's not a, like going up Highway 2 into the Cajetas. There's, there's not going to be a jar of pickles. So the irony of my TNGA diet is I have to have zero sugar drinks. But I can eat honey buns and Swiss rolls all day long, so far. Don't ask me why, but I cannot drink sugar. Swiss rolls. See, you don't need Weight Watchers. Uh, all these, you know, crazy online diet plans. You just need TNGA. You do the TNGA, you can eat whatever you want. Definitely want to thank the Boartown Church of Christ uh, Community Center. I mean, gosh. This is definitely a very welcome and needed stop and I appreciate it. I was able to rehydrate, refuel, and about to head uh, head towards the Mountain Mountain View store. So again, thanks to the Beard View, I'm sorry, Church of, wow. Thank you. <laughs> sorry, I'm not, I'm not thinking right. So, uh, back in 2016, I don't know if it was on the actual route. This, this used to be gravel and dirt. I, I dubbed this 
F you gap. I didn't say F you, but you get the gist. You get the, what is that word? If you say gist? No. But you get my point. F you gap. Literally just pops up out of nowhere. Straight up. Yeah. I mean, I know that gaps are the easiest, supposedly the easiest way over the mountain. Yeah, I know that they, they never heard of switchbacks. That just makes too much sense. Why not tunnels? I'm thinking if you gap, if they'd have built a tunnel, I know they want to get to the top. Make a tunnel, a parking deck at the bottom, an elevator coming up to the top so you can build your house. I know everybody wants the top, the top of the mountain. But think about it: tunnel, park your car down there. Don't have to worry about it getting wet. Then an elevator coming up. That seems logical to me. This valley. Please drive slow. There's free-range children. Now my thoughts. See how that says Highway 2? I think. Sorry. Let's change it to like Soul Crusher, uh, Soul Stealer. I think Crusher, Soul Crusher. Because basically my soul was about to get crushed, taken out, stomped on, beat on, punched a couple times. And then I'll be at the top of a potato patch. Yep, my knee hurts. Just gonna rest here for a second. Ice my knee. Maybe get me a turkey sandwich. Turkey on a turkey sandwich sound great. Sounds really great. I got that for Brian. Oh god. Yeah, I don't I don't plan on taking all that medicine at once. Motrin worked for about two hours. I know you can only take a leave in time all like every eight to ten hours, so Maybe they'll actually do something. I'm just trying to see if they'll do something. So, what do you think? Up or down? Up or down? So, I had a turkey sandwich. Alright, so I had a turkey sandwich. I feel a little better. Uh, iced my knee for a good 30, 45 minutes. Uh, I took some a leave actually. I've been taking ibuprofen. Ibuprofen works like two hours. Took some a leave. We're at uh, the Mountain View Market, uh, Mountainside Market. But we're gonna stay in this cool old cabin. Get some sleep. Probably head up to the Cahutas late, like early this morning. Might be around two o'clock, three o'clock. But uh, yeah, we keep going. Some beehives. That's for that's for uh, my buddy Glenn. Beehives over there. But uh, yeah, keep pushing along. Go hot time. Yeah. 
fast cars, movie stars, and a party on down the street with Mary Jane and good cocaine. Lay me down there to be. Double down, throw some dice, and take off now. Don't think twice, but hey, don't you want to play? Baby, go It's 1.30 in the morning. Do you know where your kids are at? <laughs> We're, uh, me and Jason are going to head up because we got a little bit of sleep last night. Maybe three, four, three, four hours-ish. But, uh, yeah, we're going to head up there while it's cool. Hopefully get to the Mulberry area and then decide from there to go to Mulberry or go to Dalton. But, uh, get an early start. Thanks for... Thanks for watching my creepy video with my red light. Uh, feel good, spirits are still good, needs and everything's stiff, so we just have to see how it goes. But thanks for watching and wish me luck. Bye. Me and Jason are gonna head up into the Cajutas on a dark road with nothing but darkness in front of me. I'm trying to get to uh, Mulberry. Got to finally hit some altitude. Man, it was unbearable for a little bit. The uh, the uh, it was so humid down there. The, I guess the valley coming up and it was so humid, but now it's finally got that mountain air. Uh, so much better. Finally made it to Mountain Town. Mountain Town Creek Trailhead. That is the stupidest trail I've ever been on. P0 P sucks. P0 equals P sucks. There's a reason why nobody rides it. I mean, yeah, I don't even know if you can see me or not, but I don't care. You can hear me talking because this is what it looks like without light. See that? Black. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, Jason's over there. Stargazing. Stargazing a little bit. Let's see, yeah, yeah, there he is, stargazing. <laughs> yeah. P0 sucks. You know, it's funny, if you look into all that black, that's the same road we were just on. It could have just rode up it and been here an hour, two hours ago. Yeah, just letting you know. Thank you, David Muse. <laughs> well, made it up to Mountain Town Overlook. You kind of see it. 
looks kind of cool. Jason over there. Hey, Jason agrees with me that P0 should be called P sucks. Agreed. Agreed. <sighs> Gosh, we left it like right about 2.20, I think. We're just now getting here at 7.04. 15 miles. 15 miles since Tuesday. <sighs> All right, on the way to Potato Patch. Keep on trucking. Thanks for watching. Donate to Missing 22. Help some veterans out. I'm sure Brian or Nate's gonna post a link in the comments since I always forget. And uh, let's get this done. Thank you. Potato Patch with no potatoes. It should have potatoes. Maybe a little french fry stand. A little uh, hot chick serving up french fries. That'd be nice. Giving everybody little ketchup packets. and Or maybe he has those little cups of ketchup. Yeah. You know, like, the big, like a big cup of fries. Then you can call it potato patch. Right now it's just weeds. Weed patch. Call it weed patch. Y'all know how this ends. I don't know how this ends yet. But most of y'all probably already know. See? I ain't putting that down there. Next best thing, it's as greasy as I'll get up. I uh, see I'm at oh, Bear Creek Trail and Penhody One, as we locals call it. That, I go up that. That's to the parking lot. All right, 10 o'clock. Gotta get this shit over with. Come on. I say come on a lot. Let's rock. Let's roll. Or as Brian Jackson would say, I want to ride. Something like that. <laughs> I don't think I want to ride. I don't think I do. I have no shame. I'm walking up P1. I don't care. Harass me if you want. Tell you, the desire to quit is strong. The desire to go to Mulberry and call it is strong. Golly, like you can picture it in my head. You know, get this shit done. Hey, hey, oh. Daylight coming, I wanna go home. We say day, we say day. You ever wanna quit? Just say fuck it. This might be beyond me, I don't know. But yeah, I probably just need to go to sleep. Stop it. Stop. Stop. Stop it. We're good. Gotta get through this crap. Oh shit, you scared the fuck sorry. You scared the fuck out of me. Are you filming yourself? Yeah. <laughs> That's perfect. I was about to curse. That's perfect. I, I've been cussing up and holding them Look who I found. <laughs> or found me. He passed me, scared the bejeebies out of me while I was having a mental breakdown. I've had my own. He probably thought it was a bear <laughs> screaming profanities in the woods. But it was just me. 
So is this the Wilderness Trail? That's what this is, isn't it? Goes up, connects to uh, kind of saga, something like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. On a P2. That's a rare red Penhody sticker. Well, kind of a change of plan. Uh, after my meltdown on P1, I kind of got a little bit of wind in me, and uh, I think Jason probably helped. I got decided to go to Mulberry Gap and get some sleep. There was a time when my uh, going down P2, my hands came off the handlebars, like the bike dropped off, just dropped. I, luckily, I was falling down and I landed. <laughs> they landed right back on it, but it was long enough for me to know I came off. But uh, I'm at Mulberry, I'm gonna get some sleep and recover. The bike's out there, got all washed up. And uh, I, don't, I don't know. Probably gonna, whenever I wake up, head up E3. Probably in the dark. Try to get to Dalton for. Uh, breakfast maybe or try at least try to get to yeah we'll see oh god let me tell you it's amazing what a little bit of dehydration and fatigue would just mess with your mind I was I got about three hours of sleep I was woke up with a headache started going back and forth about dropping quitting didn't want to be here, didn't want to do it again. Same crap I, I on P1. But, I mean, I was walking up to the bar and probably to quit. Started talking to Ryder, started talking to, uh, met a guy named Pete, and he was talking about heading out about one o'clock. And so I asked him, do you want to, do you want to ride him, buddy? He said, sure. So. I'm going to clean my stuff up. I got the bike ready to roll. I'm going to uh, pack everything just so I can you know, head out at about 12, 30, 1 o'clock. Get a little bit more sleep. But yeah, I, just, I tell you, I, I, they say you can't do anything alone. And that's, that, that fits for me. I, I, my mind wanders too much whenever I'm by myself, I guess. I don't know. But... Let's go hit it. He's on a single speed, so it's gonna be interesting. But let me get this stuff cleaned up. Look at all my look at all my spread. Anyway, let's go to sleep. What can I say about today? I finally made it to Mulberry Gap. It's amazing the oasis in the middle of the beautiful Cahuta wilderness. Uh sleep I got about three hours when I got here a shower I smell great now uh, I'm gonna rehydrate 
got my bike ready to rock and roll. Got it. It was shifting terribly. The guy, I uh, can't remember his name, but he, he adjusted it all for me. I appreciate it. And got my laundry done. Uh, Jason Scratch, the guy I was riding with. So he got here and scratched, went home to Alabama. So I'm gonna ride with Pete. Heading out at one o'clock in the morning. Uh, like I said, if you're, I've said it many times, if you're inspired by my efforts and want to help veterans in need with uh, post-traumatic stress and TBI and other mental health issues, uh, I'd appreciate it. They'd appreciate it. It's uh, needed. It's, uh, it's an important cause. I know I have, I have a friend that has had to deal with it, so I know how important it is to get help. So, well, today I needed some, some mental help on a P1. I basically bonked. But uh, I'm about to get some sleep. Thanks for all your support. I appreciate it. I really do. I read all your posts and stuff like that. But uh, I'll see y'all probably in Dalton. Or I, might, I might post before I leave. We'll find out. Good night. That's the end of P3 on the P4. We, uh, a lot of hike a bike, which that was expected because it's P3. <laughs> but we're moving on to P4, heading on to uh, Dennis Mill. It's night, it's humid, hot. Got 
beautiful stars. The spirits are good. We'll keep moving on. And we made it off Dennis Mill. Uh, really fun. I mean, golly, I had a blast, honestly. The whole time, coming through down P5, all the way here was just fun. I mean, the whole, everything. Really good time. Uh, Pete's up there somewhere. He should be coming down. Probably not too far behind me. He had a, he's on a single speed, so he has to do a little bit more hiker bike than I do. But yeah, we're I mean, just having a blast. Fun. That, that the trail needs, if it got a little bit more maintenance and was closer to civilization, it would get a lot more use. Just awesome. But now it's on the Dalton. Right here at the Dennis, Dennis Mill parking lots over there. I'm looking at it. But uh, sun's gonna come up. We get to see the sunrise as we ride to, to the gas station. Maybe get me a chicken biscuit or a chicken sandwich. We'll see. There he is. Woo! There you go. <laughs> Made it through the Sunco gas station somewhere. I'm not sure what this town is called. After Dennis Mill Trail, I think like 2.38 or well, maybe around, I don't know, somewhere. But feel good. We got that trail over with before the sun came up. It was humid. Oh my God, it was humid on that trail. We sweated our butts off. I can only imagine how it's going to be when it gets hot. But, uh, I'm with Pete. See Pete over there. We're gonna uh, keep trucking towards Dalton and try to knock out that first section of snake. So, yeah, thank y'all for uh, watching. Thank y'all for supporting. Remember, veterans in need. With uh, Mission 22, if you inspired by my efforts, if you'd like to donate whatever you can, I'll post a link in the comments and. I'm going to keep trucking along. A little bit of a beer growing on there. Y'all have a good day. Peace. We're leaving Ramhurst. We got Pete behind me. He's on a single speed. But spirits are good. We got through all the Dennis Mill trails and P4 or 5. So, looking forward to getting to Dalton. Boo cows. Boo cows. Well, we made it to Dalton. Uh, we gotta get through Dalton, but we we're at the Walmart. Walmart. In Dalton. Uh, getting some stuff. And then we're gonna go to McDonald's and get some food. And then it's time for the snake, Snake Creek Gap. My my favorite trail, as Brian probably doesn't believe me. But uh, yeah, we're heading that way. We ended up actually turning left and had to come back around. So I, we got an extra mile because of Walmart. But uh, yeah, I've heard the snake not, not, doesn't have a lot of water. Maybe there's some trail magic somewhere. I don't know, but we'll get there. Uh, thanks for watching. That's about all I know. Been on the bike all day, and all week. Bye. Out through Dalton, probably the most dangerous part of the whole damn course. Just went to Walmart, got some stuff, some water, some snacks. Got dinner at McDonald's, lunch and dinner. Now we're heading to Snake Creek Gap. So, yeah, not looking forward to it, honestly, but we got a good plan and we're gonna make it. It's gonna be awesome. Just gotta get across 75. And up that road climb, God.
did you know that it's hot? We haven't even got there yet. It's hot. It's hot. We could, we could probably build a shelter over this road. Maybe Georgia should look into covered roads. They have covered bridges. But not covered roads. Holy. Holy bejeebies. Go. Look. It's steep. Then you really need to grade this stuff. I grade it down a little bit. You have to appreciate moments like these when you can actually move without walking or pedaling. Just learn to appreciate all these moments in life on a beautiful, hot, summer's day i highly recommend for you future tngers do not do the climb the road climb up to snake creek gap at high noon really a bad idea yeah just, just don't do it don't do it i think i'd I pay one of my buddies to come up here, walk beside us with fans. And if it's a commercial purchase product, right, they should be able to do it. Call like an Uber and say, hey, I just want you to walk beside me with a fan. That's all. Here's an idea. The wall in the race time trial is stupid. This is beyond stupid. So I think y'all should do the time trial. I know y'all used to do it this way. Y'all should do it again just to see who the real freaking mountain bikers are. Because holy, holy. See, look at that. If I don't. Hold the brakes constantly, the bike will roll down the mountain. I can literally wear my brakes out climbing. Fuck. This trail has no redeeming qualities. It's like a... Shake your hand and punch you in the face at the same time. Oh, we're gonna give you a little downhill. And they punch you. I think I have a driver left. I don't know. Let me up this mountain. Well, I made it down. I'm at the Pinhody Snake Creek Gap Sucks Trailhead. And it says it right there Snake Creek Gap Sucks. And I made it. Pete's still up there. He said go. This is the downhill. Pete was wrong. It was not the downhill, but by the time I realized it wasn't the downhill, sorry. I got spiders all over me. I just kept going because I really wanted to get off the damn mountain. Getting a double cheeseburger at the Snake Group Gap parking lot. Pretty good. I'm sorry. The Snake Creek Gap sucks parking lot. How y'all doing? But the traffic was fast and the 
money was so The people I met you never get to know I kind of miss this place I used to live back home Cause up here it's pregnant Paycheck, bread race, what's next? I'm tired of feeling like a small fish in a big pond I think I go back where I came Try to change your mind, trying to save your time. In case you're thinking about breaking out the bucket list, girl, you can skip this funny business. Cause up there it's complicated and overrated. Down here everything is understated. That's alright by me. I got everything that up at 11 30 something I guess and started making the ride on the other half across the street on whatever the State Creek time trial of course backwards and now we're on that long ass gravel climb up to the top why is this being my first real day of vacation I want to tell you all about my vacation spot it's a, it's a beautiful spot located in North Georgia it has lots of rocks lots of rocks uh, uh, it's briars bugs that fly in your face all night um, There, see, he's up there. That's, that's the tour guide. Just all you gotta do is sign up for the TNGA during your next vacation. Every step I take is another step closer to Alabama. Boy, I can't wait. Damn it, spiders. Where's my song? Jesus. Mark Jones, I like Cheez Its. I'm not endorsing it. Maybe I'm just cheesy. Well, we're headed towards the Narrows. It's a hike a bike fest. I can't remember what this thing Taylor's Ridge or whatever. I don't know. The climb that has the big rock at the top. Sucks. 
I can't climb no more. My knee hurts. I guess it's not a T-band. Well, we made it to Taylor's Ridge. Is this Taylor's Ridge? Taylor's Ridge. Oh, There's okay. the rock. This is where I think they were talking about spending the night. Mm -hmm. We're about to go to Highway 27. And then the other bridge, and then all that nasty rail trail, and all that nasty road riding, and then the finish. Woo! Peace. I would like to thank the Penhody Trail Association for whoever's responsible for cutting this trail. We appreciate you. Mac White Gap, here we come. I've always wanted to climb Mac White Gap. This will be my second. So this is the way the snake treats you. And we're doing it again. It's not the snake. It's the, uh, the last ridge, I guess, along this uh, journey. Man, this new section of Penhody Trail is amazing up here. Yeah, just amazing. Maybe when it's cold. I'll tell you what I want. I want this to be over with. This, just this whole thing. God, I'm ready. <sighs> Stinky Floyd State Park or something like that. What's that? It's hot. Yep. It's uh basically hot as hell. <coughs> Can you imagine what hell feels like? This is it. But there was a Wendy's on the mountain. Go figure. Hot. The bacon really does taste good. Mm -hmm. but we're gonna keep slogging along. <laughs> if you're inspired by my efforts and Pete's efforts over there, I'd like to donate to Mission 22 to help <coughs> veterans in need with mental health issues, PTS, TBI, and other mental health issues, please donate to my fundraiser. You will definitely be appreciated from the veteran community. Thank you. <laughs> it's hot. Take me back, take me back to the old dirt road where mama and papa used yeah, to go. Let's sing all them songs from a long time ago and pine for them old days of yore. Well, let me run through the breeze like the leaves on. Let me fly like the leaves when they fall Well, let my mind go serene Like a cool water stream That runs from the mountain so tall Oh, take me back down the old dirt road
Let's go back a ways to the old bygone days In the simple time we lived back when Well, let the pull of the plow Bring the sweat from my brow And the glow of the fire pull me on Let me wind down my days in the sweet dusty haze. Take me back down the old dirt road. Oh, take me back down the old dirt road. Take me back down the old dirt road. Headed towards Cave Springs if we get the first. Raining just a little bit. Feels kind of good. Hope this is all it is. Yippee ki yay. Me and Pete left the Sitco and Kusa. We're headed for Cave Springs. Gonna knock this ride out. It's been a hell of a trip so far. Let's get this finished. I wanted to get this in before I maybe run out of battery or light uh, as you've seen this is an epic journey um, walking on p1 and cussing it out to meeting pete carrying this journey on i want to thank everybody for uh watching me come come on this journey and i think i've changed for the better I think I've learned so much about myself, about people, and just what an adventure it's been. And thank everybody for all the support that you've thrown at me during this, during this ride on Facebook, Instagram, you know, all my friends texting me. It's been special. So, I want to get that in before I, I lose light. Finish line. Bad work. Nice work. Welcome to Alabama. Thank you. Your mom is my cardio straight. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Ah, shit. Awesome. There you go, bro. Thanks, man. Good job, good job, good job. Yeah. Ah. Got it done, nice. dude. Yep. Very nice. Very nice. How do you feel, sir? <laughs> oh, I don't know. <laughs> words, words can't contain my excitement. Words can't contain my excitement. He's tired. He's tired. Y'all rolled out at what, 12 30 this yeah. morning, Mark? Did a pretty good crash on that last section. Did you go on the last <laughs> single track? Were the dogs the uh, Nice. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. Good job. Good job. Yay. Your mom is my cardio scrape.
Well, hello everyone. I uh, finally finished the Trans North Georgia adventure last night around 11 something. Uh, I want to thank everybody for their support, comments. It's been really you know, touching and helpful to have all the support. Uh, I slept till like 2 o'clock today, 2 40, something like that. Pat Cassandra don't let me sleep all day. She woke me up and I got some. Uh, so a good breakfast and made some ice cream. I think I ate some three cookies. I plan on eating some more. I <laughs> plan on getting some more sleep. But the bike finally got to sleep last night. This life-changing adventure. I'll put it that way. And I got over like probably 12 hours of video footage to go through. And so I'll put together a story and Hopefully some people will be interested in watching watching the story. But again, thanks to, to Pete, you know, just just an amazing amazing uh, riding partner to get get through that amazing event. The last uh, the last two days, I think I got two hours of sleep in forty eight hours, roughly. And wow, just I tell you, life changing adventure is what it was. And I did it to try to raise uh, awareness for veteran suicide. Your veterans suffer every day with PTS and TBI, other mental health issues. And Mission 22 has programs to try to stop veteran suicide. I know it's a lofty goal, but it's a worthy goal. So fundraiser is still going on for six days. I think we're at 12:75. If you were inspired by my efforts and feel the the call to uh, donate to help veterans. I know I would appreciate it. I know they would appreciate it. Mission 22 appreciates it, and I I appreciate it. So I still I'm still so tired, so tired. I could go to sleep at any second, but uh, I appreciate y'all. Uh, y'all have a great day and peace. Well, everyone, uh, thanks for watching. I appreciate y'all. I hope you got something out of it. Uh, I really wanted to make something that newbies, veterans, and just ultra endurance or bike packers would get something out of it and enjoy. It really showcases the route. I think. I think of all the all the media out there. I think this this showcases the route the most. Uh, a lot of people to think. I want to thank. Uh, you know, Rhonda at the River Crossing, Cooper Creek Store, amazing. You know, Diane, everybody, thank you so much. Uh, Mountainside Market, got it right. Uh, Kevin, I think, uh, thank you. You know, you're new this year to it, and the stop was much appreciated. We really needed that in this uh, route. Just a, a great place to lay your head down and you know recuperate a little bit. Uh, Boar Town, Church of Christ. Thank you for opening up your community center to us. It's uh, very appreciated. Uh, I, I think you can see I really enjoy that air conditioner. And, uh, you know, Mulberry Gap, what can we say for all that you do on this route, this ride, the whole experience? I want to thank uh, Kate and Andrew. Just, I mean, just thank you. I can't really say any more than that. You know, thank you is not enough, probably. Uh, Honcho, thank you for all that you do keeping this race going for this ride adventure. Thank you so much. I know, I know it's a lot of hard work. And it's definitely appreciated. Uh, you know, cause you know all the years you you uh, ran the race and kept it going. Dave Muse, thank you for creating a hell of a route. I know it was a lot of work. I can uh, I can fully comprehend how much work that was. I think. Uh, I want to thank my friends. Uh, I had a few friends that couldn't make to the finish, so they came a little bit early. Uh, but, you know, Tim, Justin, Ed, I want to thank y'all so much for uh, making the effort and coming out. It's, it's, it's definitely appreciated. To me, I consider, uh, you know, friends are my family. So I definitely appreciated it. Uh, having uh, Clint and Jamie at the finish was great. You know, just good, really good to see them. Most importantly, 
my wife, Cassandra, thank you so much for coming out. I know it was a big deal for you to uh, be out there on the Alabama border in the middle of the woods on the Super Comet, Chief Ladega. So uh, I really appreciate it. I was stoked to see you and just, it made the whole event more special. Uh, last, I want to thank, I want to say, I want to thank everybody who donated to Mission 22. Uh, we raised $2,400. $2, $2, I set my goal at $2,200 and we exceeded it. $2,400. I can't thank all of my donors. I just, I can't thank you enough. I hope we made a difference. Uh, I hope raised awareness to veterans with mental health issues, veteran suicide, and hopefully the funds will go to help save some veterans' lives. Uh, we owe them everything. But I want to, you know, I'm very grateful. Like I said, this ride, you know, I think I changed. Uh, just learned a lot about myself, learning a lot about uh, just the world in general, how great people are if you give them a chance. And I'm trying to think, I don't want to miss anybody. I know it's uh, it's about a week, a little more than a week after the finish for me. Uh, Still haven't touched the bike. It just came out of the Jeep not a couple days ago. But uh like everything, man, I wanna I wanna just thank y'all and I'll see y'all on the trail somewhere.